What are the five best tier tens in World of Tanks Blitz? That is quite a hard question to answer because generally a tier 10 in World of Tanks Blitz is very balanced and the margins are very small. Anything between 0 and 3% variance is essentially statistically irrelevant because you're never going to notice the difference on the battlefield in 99% of situations. Obviously, it's going to be a very personally biased list, but I will try to get a average overlook here as in is it easy to play is it fun to play not just oh you can get the best damage with this but instead a good combination of all the factors that a good vehicle needs the vehicle that i picked as the best beginner tier 10 tank in the game is probably gonna have to be on this list somewhere and it is at number five why big it's bulky it's easy to play it has a great tech tree preceding it that is mostly very easy to play quite comfortable they have a lot of armor decent guns enough mobility so you all have a very lovely ride all the way up to tier 10 and once you arrive at tier 10 at the e100 you will be greeted with well terrible dpm but high alpha damage which is very good if you're a beginner player this high alpha damage means that you have to peak less times to cause damage, which means you stay safe, and the 100s armor is already great anyway. The problem really, the DPM, terrible. The accuracy could be much better. That has to be worked on for sure. But what is truly great is the armor of this vehicle. And quite frankly, weighing over 130 tons and being this slow, it has to have good armor. So overall, we have a tank very easy to play it has a very lovely tech tree it's perfect for beginners and even if you're just a casual player and you're not a beginner anymore it is still gonna offer you all of the goodies that a super heavy has to offer and it's not as slow as the mouse generic is what i would mostly describe the i7 but that is not always a bad thing it doesn't matter if you're new to the game or have 50,000 battles. At one point in your life, you're probably going to think about getting the i7 because not only is it one of the very few original tier 10s that have been in the game since the very beginning, it has also still been relevant all that time through. Unlocked, for example, the Object 140, which has been nerfed to the ground. The i7, however, has been competitive pretty much throughout its entire existence, and it is also very good at making other vehicles such as the VZ-55 completely pointless to ever obtain because with this armor with this surprisingly fast straight line speed and a gun that's fine for a super heavy you will have a combination that is easy to play that isn't really the most fun of tanks but that is very reliable so if you just want to hop into the game for a session and all you really care about is i'm just gonna waste half an hour of my life then the i7 is probably the best choice for that This might be the most overlooked vehicle in the game. The 113, or 113 as I like to call it, to simply annoy people that would be annoyed by that. The vehicle has excellent DPM for a heavy tank. In fact, it has 800 more than the majority of tier 10 heavy tanks, allowing it a massive advantage in that compartment. Now, unfortunately, Wargaming has realized this, and they have nerfed the alpha damage down to 400 from previously 440. And I thought about placing this vehicle lower because of that, but to be honest, no, I'm not going to do that. Very simple, because even though it still turns like a boat, and the tech tree that is behind it is really kind of terrible, it is still a vehicle. Because of how underrated it is, I think it still deserves a mention. The only major downside to this vehicle being the 6 degrees of gun depression that is also similar to the IS-7. And before we continue with number 2, what is your top 5 tech tree tier 10s in World of Tanks Blitz? And while you're already in the comment section, don't forget to like and subscribe as well. The E50M is better than the medium tanks you like. Now, why do I say that? Well, there is one exception to that, but more on that later. The E50M combines a very good average tier 10 medium tank gun. It's not better than most of the other tier 10s, and it's not worse either. It combines that fine gun with a chassis that is absolutely bonkers. Not only is it as quick as the other medium tanks, it is much heavier which means that this vehicle is better at ramming other medium tanks 
and it is also excellent at deflecting any shells that you might have otherwise thought well that should have penetrated because not only does it have a tiny weird configuration on the turret that is very difficult to pen it also has a essential impenetrable upper plate the lower plate obviously as on any vehicle is a weak spot but the size on this vehicle are a spaced armor which means that you can even side scrape this tank all day long if you want to if the e50m truly does have one weakness then it is the tech tree leading up to it and while that didn't really stop the 113 either it's also not a problem for the e50m because the grind is worth it in the end and even though the panther 2 is quite the pain it is very fun to grind it in special modes because panther 2 has good special mode abilities the panther in tier 7 can be a very enjoyable and fun vehicle but the really the bad egg is the stock e50 even though it does have great armor the panther gun that is already not that great at tier 8 is gonna really punch you in the face if if you have to play against tier 10 but at the end you get that and it's worth it the leopard one is the best tank for super high skilled players but because it has no armor whatsoever an excellent gun that requires perfect positioning it is not really that good for the average player so there are other options that are great but if you are a very good player the leopard one I think is probably the best high skill vehicle to prove that you're truly good and then we go to the complete opposite for the second honorable mention that is the mouse it's big it's fat it's slow the gun is absolutely abysmal however it has quite the quality of drawing fire towards it to allow the teammates to be more useful so if you want to be a hit point sponge for the entire team mouse is the perfect choice for you Last year's number 5 also has to be mentioned here, the T57 Heavy being a autoloader, it got downranked for this year because I've focused more on ease of play, but it is still a great vehicle nonetheless and probably the one autoloader you should get. And if you really want a tank destroyer in this matchmaking, the best choice would be the T110 V3. Twenty eighteen called and it wants its number one back. You're seeing it right. The T one ten E five is my pick for the number one tech tree tier ten. This vehicle has truly gone through balancing hell. It started out as meh because it has a massive cupola on top of the turret. Then that that cupola was removed and the vehicle ascended to be one of, if not the best tier 10 at the time. And then Wargaming has decided to nerf it down to have terrible DPM. But since then, Wargaming decided to return that single shot per minute back to the vehicle at the expense of a little bit of frontal armor. Now, it's not really that big of a deal that the frontal armor is less because this is a perfect hull down vehicle and playing this vehicle properly, you're not even going to feel that the frontal armor is less than the Type 71. Obviously, if you sit around on a flat ground and decide to play this vehicle in a city, then that is going to be a terrible option. But this vehicle is still a great all-rounder that can do pretty much anything that you ask. It's mobile, it's got armor, it has the gun depression, it has a 400 alpha damage pretty decent dpm gun with accuracy that makes you able to hit targets unlike vehicles such as the mouse so this thing it can do anything and that's why it is the number one pick because the number one tank in this game doesn't just have to ha have the highest win rate doesn't have to have the highest dpm it also has to have the perfect usability for any type of player now there is one little caveat to this tank that is the tech trade to it is a bit questionable specifically the m103 and while the t29 and t32 are good vehicles respectively the m103 is especially stock very questionable however this tank is an all-round great vehicle that can be used by any player in any situations and there is a good reason why i always recommend the t54 e2 as the choice of tier 8 premium tank and then there's also the same reason why i recommend the t135 as my number one tier 10 in world tanks blitz it can do just anything and if you are a player that is of the ability to play this game you're gonna be able to get some performance out of this vehicle it's for everyone it can essentially do anything it's not quite as fast as the E50M, but it is better because it's easier to play. It's easier to position. It's got a little bit higher alpha damage. In that regard, 
This is best tank in World of Tanks Blitz in terms of the tech tree, but there are also collector vehicles at tier 10, which is what I will cover in a future video. So like and subscribe for that.